What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the reality game. We're with the real reality or whatever. I'm your host, Pharaoh. We are drawn by one of our hosts, Lee. Lee, how you feeling? Great. I know that's right. I know that's right. Um, actually, that's wrong because I hated this episode. I feel like the last three episodes of Amazing Race, it's kind of just been this a team is just clearly going to lose. And that's what happened. And I feel like I got spoiled maybe a little bit with last season because I feel like that happened here and there, but I always had some excitement with it. I feel like with this one, it's just been over and over again, like, okay, this team is losing. Okay, this team is losing. Okay, this team is losing. The entire episode. And that's how it was with this one. And then it'd be teams I like. Not Morgan and Lena, not Andrea Milena, not Tyler Ashley. Like, why are my faves going home? Who went on last episode? Somebody else who was my fave. I forgot Noah was. It was Robert. To remember. Oh my god. Okay, so boom. They're going to the teams are going to fly from Slovenia to Stockholm, Sweden. Period. They're all leaving on the same plane, though. So it's an even playing field again, allegedly, because baby, this basically the same fucking. It's the same. It's same. I that's the thing. The person in last went home. So hey. So they're all leaving together. Great. Boom. They get off the plane. They're oh, before they get off the plane, Tana Ashley clocked. They this this was this little cute thing. Did this happen a lot? Um in past seasons? I wanted to ask you because they like asked what's in Stockholm in Slovenia, and they found out it's like a skydiving area. But I was wondering, is this new? Is this cute? Do people usually do that? Because now they knew what they was gonna do, they knew what they was going into, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was um it was because it was on the uh the route marker. So people people research stuff. That's cute. I wish they would do kind of like more cute stuff like that. Cause I kinda like that. It's exciting. Like not they're figuring it out. Okay, boom. So they all get on the plane, they get off the plane, they arrive in Stockholm and they have to drive to or get in taxis and drive to Blitam, Vitakum and find Stockholm. So they gotta find the the, the place. So Corey and Rob have an express pass. They have to use it, or yeah, they have to use it this leg. So they're going to use it this leg. But when they get to Viklam, Viklam, they have to take a number. So when you get there, you need to make sure you take a number and then get your next instructions. But John and Greg got there first. They missed the banner, the, the bar where the numbers were. They just ran straight past it. They kept going. So even though they got there first, they didn't get their number. Joel and Garrett got there after them, and they got number one. Steve and Anna Lee got number two. And then Todd and Ashley and Corey Rob pull up, and they do the same thing as John and Greg and run right past it. So everyone's looking for it, and the other two teams are just sitting there because they already got it. So they come back. Finally, they find it. John and Greg get number three. Todd and Ashley get number four. Corey and Rob get number five. And this is literally just the order they're jumping out of the, the airplane to skydive. Period. So at 5 a.m. the next day, they got a skydive. I told Lee that I'm not doing it. So it's like, what do you mean you're not doing it? <laughs> what do you mean? I, I feel like Ashley should have said that too. Because I'm not doing it. I'll take the four out the nine hour penalty. Girl, the penalty could be anything. We'll catch up. No, we won't. <laughs> Even people, if we have do we have to, penalties before. Yes. And then they have to wait at the pit stop for four hours before they get checked in. And then everyone checks in and they go home. Uh, oh, no. You don't take a penalty. I don't care how hard it is. I'd ra- you might as well just do it and lose instead of taking a penalty. There's no way. Like, unless the penalty, like, I've seen situations like, oh, you didn't complete the roadblock correctly. Now you incurred a uh, hour penalty. Something like that. Okay, that's simple, right? But, like, yeah. our penalty at top five is still, like, no. Like, that's, like, our penalty is better at top 12 while the team is there at top 11. But at top five, no. So this is the best of the best. But I don't want to skydive. Okay. So we can get all the way to top five. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm going to get it. Oh, okay. So they all skydive one by one. They land. They get their clue. Their clue is to go to the island of Tinnegakal. So it's you a bunch of I just wrote, I said, they got to go to the station. They got to go to the island. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're going to go to the island Tinnegal. Tinnegal, one of the many islands in uh, Switzerland. Where are they at? I forgot. Sweden. 
No, wait. Stockholm. <laughs> Where are yeah, they? Sweden. Sweden. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they got to go to the island. So, the so they all get on the boat. Where's Sweden? It's at the top. No, there's another city. The, the, the Fault in Our Stars. What's the name? Amsterdam. 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 Why the fuck that's not a city. Name. That's a, that's a, Amsterdam that's a, Sweden. Are they close? Amsterdam is a is a, is country? a country next to Sweden, isn't it? A city? Beast Girl, we don't know geography. <laughs> I always hated geography because what the fuck is what what do you mean where is things at? I don't know. Um so they all get in their bolts. Todd and Ashley, Corey and Rob are kind of lagging behind a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, Amsterdam is in the Netherlands. That's a city in the Netherlands? It's a Netherlands? city in the Netherlands. Is the Netherlands near no, Sweden? No, Netherlands is a country. And Netherlands is near Sweden. Let's go with that. No, it's not. It, it's it's close enough. It's kind of in the same country? It's, are they both? Well, Sweden is next to Norway on a whole different, like, peninsula. <laughs> They're close enough. Okay. <laughs> that area of places. That Europe, for sure. Period. <laughs> Co- Europe for sure. I, I see that as cold Europe. Okay. That's a good way to see it. <laughs> okay, period. Um, boom. They get to, to Nigo, and it's the roadblock. The roadblock is who want to party. Lee, you party. I don't want to party. Period. I guess I should. It's straightforward. So Lee don't do this roadblock. Like, all you got to do is you got to create a little flower thing. And, and like I said, like I, I said this early in the season, like when you have to create something from scratch, don't people don't give a fuck how it look. You uh-uh. just gotta run through it and make sure it look presentable. Don't and make it look any kind did. of way. That's yeah. exactly what Emily did. That's exactly what Emily did. So um Corey and Rob got here and they were second to last or last or whatever, and they decided that this roadblock seemed like something was gonna take a long time. I don't know why they decided that, because to me it didn't seem that way. So they the said are never really that bad. Like I feel like it's the detours that are always like more I, strenuous. I agree. I felt the same way. And so I was like, Lee, if we have the express pass, we're not using that here. We're gonna use it at the detour. But um Corey and Rob decided to use it here um because they felt like it was a roadblock. And since roadblocks are more, I guess, bad for them. But hey, that's them. They decided to use the express pass, damn near wasted it. And they have to go to the ro- the theater, bitch, the royal theater. And find a violinist. <laughs> My thing is, this top five needs the task. Go find a violinist in the. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I guess I, no. That's what I was saying, girl. I was like, honestly, we made it this far, girl. We really could be in top four. Like, I'm not saying like <laughs> we would just be eating it up, but, but nothing this episode was that hard. Period. <laughs> no, that's right. It really wasn't though. This was very simple. Even like even Todd, like Todd and Ashley didn't thing. lose because they were struggling. They lost it because they were just behind. And I don't it's think. Better. Like it seemed like I mean there wasn't much of a way to catch up. Like like she basically ran Ashley, through this wall block like Annalie did and she didn't. She that's I, I wouldn't say Ashley. If, if Ashley probably just caught up here, then maybe. Yeah. But it seems like they, when they were behind here, that was it. Unless they that got lost it. or something that we didn't see. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it's like that was it. When they left this road like last, they were losing. Yeah, one hundred percent. It was like that's the thing. Other teams were so far ahead, and the tasks were so easy. Like them going to sort, like sort was so easy. Yeah. So it's like them going to sort after three other teams, and John and Greg are eating up serve. You're going to just be behind. Like there's no way unless one of them mess up that they were going to be able to get them. So one hundred percent. They had to kept. They had to just eat up this roadblock. Like there's like a. But even then, with the roadblock, it's like. They were the last thing to get there. So it's like, they you, were. Know, you know. But that was like, like Anna Lee, she ran through, through it. it. So I'll give I, I, I just feel like what Anna Lee does is she just runs through shit. Like, she just is is a hustler. And she said it this oh, episode. Oh, you know what? They just hustle. Yeah, because that wasn't, I said, I, I mentioned Anna Lee running through it, but they were ahead of Robin Corey. They were at the bottom of Robin Corey, weren't they? Probably, and I remember right. you saying that. You were like, they're not actually at the Back with Robin Corey because Robin Corey have an express pass, so yeah. really they're very much behind. So honestly, yeah, and true. the the task that they had this round, it wasn't anything difficult. It just gave if you were there first, you're probably going to finish first. Gonna so finish I feel now. like that mainly is what it is. Robin Corey, someone they could have been there with, mm-hmm. they had the express pass and skipped this entire thing. That's true. Um, except I will say in this roadblock, Joel and Garrett got there first, and Annalie and. Um, Steve finished before them, so mm-hmm. and way before them actually. Annalie and Steve leave right when, hate that. when Corey and Rob use their express pass. 
They're literally behind. Court. I don't know how Anna Lee did that. Anna Lee was down there. That, that's why I'm like, I'm like, it's because Anna Lee did it. It's clearly possible Ashley could have could have caught up here. She just probably just didn't care what it looked like. Because I feel like that's what Anna Lee. I does. think that's what it was. Like, like as soon as Anna Lee got done, everybody else was like, oh, it don't have to be that great. No. Yeah, that's literally what they said. They don't care. They don't care. They never care. They never care. So <laughs> pulling up to the theater, Corey and Rob, they pull up off the boat onto the on. Well, I guess it's the main on the boat again. on the island. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's the mainland again. And they're right by the theater and they can see Annalie and Steve on their boat on the way. So they're like, dang, we need to find the entrance. So they're looking for the entrance and they go inside and they can't get in the door. So they go back outside and they're trying to look for another way to enter. While they're doing that, Steve and Annalie pulls up, finds the entrance, goes inside, finds the violinist. And gets the next clue. There are wise Robert Corey messing up like this. How y'all been doing nervous, great this entire time? And now y'all in the end game messing up. They're getting nervous. They're getting get nervous. Because they lost the number one leg yet. I, I feel like, like Joe McGarrett gets up a number one leg. I don't know why they use the express pass at the robot. That was the weirdest thing. I feel like they could have got first this leg if they just used it at the G Talk. That detour, like you said, is just who got there first was going to finish first, for sure. So I feel like they should have just used it for the detour. Don't know why they did. So boom. They um, they end up coming back into the entrance as Steve and Annalie are leaving. So they can go ahead and find the violin, get the clue. So Corey and Rob go get the clue while Annalie and Steve are looking for directions. They ask a bus driver for directions. And my thing is, why do these people, these civilians, be lying? Annalise said, do you know where the subway is? Because they don't be, because they just be, uh -huh. <laughs> they just be hearing English and agreeing. He said, mm-hmm, here. She said, this is the subway? He said, but yes. A, but I will also say, well, say yes. y'all know, this is a bus. This is they not a damn know subway. that was a damn bus. I, honestly, Lee, if that was me and you, I would ask him for directions. He would have said, this is the subway. I would be like, he don't know what he's talking about. He, uh, and we would have got the fuck off. <laughs> and we would have went to a subway. If, you know, especially me, you know, I get over it real quick. This ain't no okay. damn stuff. So is this a situation where they would get like an hour penalty? Yes, for? if they oh, took that okay. bus to where they were supposed <laughs> to go to the subway and mm -hmm. they, the production ain't going to tell them shit. They'll mm -hmm. let them do everything. They'll get to the mat and Phil would be like, <clears throat> exactly this. <clears throat> Steve Manley, you are the first team to arrive. However, you have incurred a five hour penalty because you did not create. Ah! <laughs> you did not do the. Uh, Can we go back and take the bus real quick? You no, know, you have to sit here and wait. That's sickening. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I crazy. would sit there and cry. What the Which fuck? Which is interesting because I guess the rules are just different. Because I know in season 20, one of the teams, they skipped. I guess it's different because they just skipped it, but they skipped. A, I think a detour or a roadblock altogether. And when they got yeah, to the yeah. mat as the first team, he was like, Y'all didn't win because you got to go do that. So they, mm -hmm. he let them go back and do that. He didn't give them a penalty. So I don't know if it's the finale rules or what. But yeah, girl, they will make them sit there. Like, oh my god. And I also, I didn't, I also didn't realize. And I guess because we're in season, what is this, thirty-five? The meta of Amazing Race is just so established. But like, what's so funny about these earlier seasons? Like, I'm, I'm on season two. So the, 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 the idea of only one person does the roadblock, they don't fully grasp that yet. Mm -hmm. So they kept trying to help, especially in season one. Like, no, you have to be quiet. <laughs> like, it's like, which I really think is an interesting concept that your partner cannot help from the side. I kind of like that. I kind of do like that. I feel like if your if your partner's like like like, like a situation one season where um, they had to bring this purse back to a specific person, mm -hmm. and this one dude he came back in the correct area, which was where everyone else was waiting. But he did not know where to bring the backpacks to and of the purse to. And his partner knew, but the partner's mm -hmm. on the sideline, he has to just stand there and yeah. let his partner let all of these teams. They had, they had eliminated that round. He had to yeah, let yeah. all of those teams just pass them, even though he knew. He's like, I, I, I hope he figures it out. I and it's like, that it sucks. Like, oh, my God. Like, mm -hmm. I would be so mad if, like, I'm fucking up or you're fucking up and I can't say anything. Yeah. It's kind of like, I feel like, to me, I think of it like them helping on the sidelines during the challenge. It's like, shut up. This is not your task. You can't help. Because it's like, I know that's your friend. I know that's your teammate. But you can't help. You need to let me do my thing. Because I'm thinking, you remember the, um, where you had to find, you had to match the, what's it called? You had to match the tile to the tile. 
I'm thinking if somebody, if the teammate found the tile and told their teammate, it's like, that's not fair. This is not a detour, bitch. That's the, it might as well be a detour if you can help. If you can also look for the tiles and find it and tell her, that's just the detour. That's it's like, it's like I guess it just, it, it, it's interesting though, because it poses a challenge. Like, yeah, it adds a layer. Mind to working. So I do like it for that aspect, but it's just, it's crazy how like you can't help at all. Situations can happen. Like, what if I'm there and I'm looking for the tile and I can't find it and it's right in front of you and you looking at the tile like, and I'm like, where is it? Yeah, like, there that was one was suck. There was one situation where um, <laughs> they had to spell out a word. And you know how words have accents, right? Yeah. There's an O and there's an accent, an accented O. And this one dude, he was not put him in the correct order. Like, he had to also put him in the correct order. He's like, it's right, mm -hmm. it's right. But the accented O wasn't in the right order. And when his partner yells out, he's like, make sure you look at the O's and the S's and the T's. Like, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he did well. I don't know if he, I don't know, but it didn't seem like he knew he actually had to look out for the O's. He was just mm -hmm. saying, You need to double check your work because something has to be off. Yeah. Uh, and when he <laughs> got to the pit stop, he's like, Y'all have to wait because you helped him. He's like, I didn't even, he was like, It doesn't matter. You helped him. Well, oh, you can't <laughs> say nothing. But, but you can only say, but, You can only say, You got it, babe. Yeah, got it. Like the thing is, that isn't what even that wasn't what helped his partner pass. His partner had to do something else to pass it. Yeah. So I think he said helped in that situation. They were like, "You said it," and because mm. what you said was actually part of the answer. They went home. Uh, they didn't go home that round. Oh, good. It was earlier in the season, so you that was the It wasn't a long penalty because it's not like they skipped the whole round. Like, yeah. you know, it wasn't a long penalty, and it was earlier in the season, so they were good, but. They weren't, um, they were one of the earlier teams, but they had to like fall back a few. Times. That's scary. Okay, so Corey and Rob pull up to <laughs> Emily and Steve are in the bus thinking they're going to the subway. And Corey and they Rob. They told the man to drive off. Yes! Why are they doing leave. this? And Aaliyah, especially. Leave! Can you please leave? Please? Mind you, they don't let them get in. Don't let them get in. Don't let them get in. The Girl. gag is if that happened, they would have lost. <laughs> Literally lost the entire game. But um, Corey and Rob, they they make it, and <laughs> Corey and Rob are like, "Wait, Stephen and Lee, y'all going?" Watch. And this this, they said Subway. So Stephen and Lee get out, and now Corey and Rob and Stephen Lee, Stephen and Lee are working together for the rest. They of really them. was just trusting the, the local because this was not a Subway. That was a bus. That was a bus. One hundred percent. So they decide to work together to get to the Subway, and then we'll see. They continue to work together. So now they're headed to the subway, and back at the roadblock, we see that everyone has decided that they're just going to wing it, basically, because Annalie got out there so fast. So Greg gets a check, but it's wrong, because Greg doesn't have the right amount of flowers on there. That's like, you got to have the right amount. So Greg's basically like, just make it pretty and have the right amount. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's what he's doing. Yeah. While he's doing that, which is, that's the idea anyways, isn't it? That's my, that's what I would have thought. Duh, what were you doing? I'm thinking, what are they doing? Like, what is Ashley and Greg and Joel? What are they doing? Just put it on there. It's leaves. Cindy, this is bounds. So back, <laughs> back at the subway, Corey Robin, Stephen, and Ali, they make it there and they have to head to Central Centrum Station. So they just gotta get on the subway, go. That's what they're doing. Boom. Back at the roadblock, Greg finally finally finishes. And that means Garrett got there first, but Greg and Annalie finished before him. So I'm like, what's going on with you? But he finally gets it to me. So Garrett's after Greg and Ashley is the last one at the roadblock. Um, we see a little bit of time pass and then Ashley gets hers done too. So all of them are headed towards the theater. When we get to the theater, we see Greg and John. They get they find the violinist first um, and Joel and Greg, Garrett find it right after. What Lee said is true. Like these tasks, when you get there, you're going to get it done. And then you go to the next task. Then you're going to get it done. There was no way for Todd and Ashley to really catch up here. Honestly. Yeah, Honestly. They were in last. They were going to be in last. But also, what I will say is, I catch glimpses of them walking and chilling. Like, they was a little bit too calm for me. Run, <laughs> sister. I don't know. Um, so, boom. We're just following through the subway. So, at the subway, Greg and John and Joel and Garrett, they get on the subway. Joel and Garrett miss the one that John and Greg get on, so they're a little bit after them. But, I mean, hey, everybody's headed towards them detours. It could not be usual. Uh, <laughs> Steve and Emily and Corey and Rob, they make it to the detour. It's sort or serve. Or serve. Period. You either got to sort some trash or serve some 
three course meals based on Sorry. the past menus, relying on memory, um, using the terms that are in French. My thing is, you're serving. I'm, I'm finding my life. You're smizing. Category. Bad. The lady actually eats for um, a good little. <laughs> but um. Shout out to Tyler. Sort of serve. Sort of serve. Girl, we're sorting. I feel oh, like, sure. and like, and like, that's another thing too. Like, they definitely don't get like the detail, detail of each detour or whatever. I'm really, yeah. I, in the earlier seasons, I'm seeing they are actually saying what the route marker says, and now they kind of just cut to fill all the explaining. So they're not getting that full explanation, from my knowledge, in the route marker. However, just mm -hmm. in general, I think they give them enough information to pinpoint which one which is. is you know, you can be able to do. And I just think, like, out of these options, they have to be sorted. That was very simple. You're literally sorting simple. versus having to figure out what people need to eat. Like, no. Mm -hmm. it seems and like we've seen challenges reason. like serve before, where you have to, well, I've seen, yeah. especially my binge watch, like, um, there's a lot of challenges like this. We have to figure out what the people want and get it in the right order. And that's just too much. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot. And mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. So we see everyone does sort except Greg and John. It seems like... But they don't have to. <laughs> it seems like Greg and John only did that because they know French. They literally know the language. But they didn't know what's French going. They, I think they're just good Oh, at they food. didn't! Because they also... So I don't I mean, know why they did A this. while back, they did the same thing. They, they chose, like, the memory con, con yeah. challenge other than, like, the straightforward one. They yeah. kind of always did that. They Even did that with like the, the mustard. The buoy, too. The mustard or, like, the buoy. Mm -hmm. Like, they always choose the one where it's, like... I guess more mental. They always yeah. say like we're engineers, so we can figure it out. So I guess that's what it is. And it works for them. My thing is if that yeah. works for you, that works for you. I feel like some things and it depends on your partner. They know their strengths. Yeah, I like m with me and Lee being partners, I know that there's certain things that we just definitely are going to do. I feel like if my partner was someone, I guess, else who couldn't do like physical, if I had a partner who was a, a woman and we couldn't carry the mattresses two by two. We're not doing the mattresses because the woman is literally just going to sit there and, and not be able to do it. Like, we have a friend who's a girl, and I'm thinking about her. We're not doing mattresses. We're not doing mattresses. <laughs> like, so you could not. We but just did But she's also okay. kind of smart, so it's like, it works. So it works. We could do the we could do the more smart ones. So I feel like it just depends on your strengths, you and, and your partner's strengths, a lot of stuff. It's so cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're going to win. We understand each other so well. Girl, we're going to win the amazing we, we, we. race. Um, Todd and Ashley just now get I'm to the I'm manifesting this million dollars, bitch. You don't want it. Get to the bag. Oh, I'm going to get a million. We got to get to the bag. Bro. I'm going to get a million regardless. We got to get to the bag. Okay. Um, Girl, Big Brother's only 750000 Survivor. You are not Big Brother survivor. and then winning two of the challenges. That you are not up. winning the challenge. Why not? Girl. You can't even swear, baby. I think this is what I think I can do in the challenge. I think I can avoid going in for a while. You like, like kind of like Bailey. Uh, Bailey was just good at the challenges as well, though. But um, Bailey just did not go into elimination until the last elimination. And hey, you think you're Bailey? No, I think I'm Pharaoh. Okay. That <laughs> thing. No fuck. So I just know I'm not going to go in until the last elimination, anyways. Um, and then I just got to win that one. No. Then I gotta win the final. And that's the big part. You can't swim. You're scared of heights. Hopefully they have them RVs. Bitch, I don't need to swim. I'm gonna ATV my way. Shut up. ATV. <laughs> Why don't they have them ATV? Anyway, y'all. Uh, Todd and Ashley just now got to the theater. I'm like, why are y'all not running? They're walking. Looking for the violinist. Leave them alone. No, I'm, I'm just like, hustle, baby. But I think it's they don't show us how far apart they are from these other people. Ashley and Todd could have been an hour away. And they're like, okay. I felt, that's the thing. Like, we saw all four of the same because they pissed off at the same time. And Todd and Ashley were not there with them. Mm -hmm. So, like, and you know how the edit does. They try to make it seem like, oh, it's an actual foot race. And it's not a foot race. So, I do. Mm -hmm. it does seem like Todd and Ashley were a little bit further behind. So, I wonder when she actually left that uh yeah, I think she took a little too long at that roadblock. Or, 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 like I said, they they could have just like got lost. Or the, so we didn't see. That's true. That's true. Because um, the edit, the edit was not timing it up correctly. And it, it was, I, it was weird how even, far. Even behind when they it, left the roadblock, I, I I get that they probably didn't have a chance to catch <laughs> up based on what they had ahead of them. 
Mm-hmm. But I still don't understand why they were that for like all the other teams, yeah. like right next to each They were up. way too I feel like that's something we're not seeing. Yeah, 100%. And I want to know that too. So, boom. At the sort detour, Steven and Ali and Corey and Rob are there. They decide to kind of work together, but you really can't. You just got to sort the stuff. So, who cares? So, they just go and sort the stuff. Yeah. Period. And it's so simple. It's literally just like different assortments of trash. There's 15 bins. They are in Sweden. Swedish. But you have to but figure out the- what the trash goes into. But you can literally just look at the other trash that's in there. Just look at the other trash. Also, like, like what I would do is I would textile. go to... Mm-hmm. It's textile. It's textile. The fuck? Like if if like if the idea is like okay one of these items go in every bin I'm just gonna go to the bin see what's in it bring it back and then and then bring it back literally so it it really was not difficult which is why it's hard to catch up on this kind of leg because it's not difficult unless someone would have accidentally done serve and then messed up that's what would need to happen that's what they would have needed but no one did that John and Greg at serve <laughs> I literally have written down. Baby, I'm confused because basically it's a big ass table. Girl. It's a big old table with a bunch of dishes, hundreds of dishes on the table. And he has to choose a table to serve. They have um, years that they won the Nobel Prize associated with each of them. And then each of the years is associated with the list it's of too entrees. Many steps. It's, it's just too it's much. Too it's too steps. much. It's too much. It's too much. So I would, if we would have accidentally there's ended a server, up there, there's a runner, you got to remember, you got to tell me, I got to give it to you, you got to bring it to them, you got to remember the date. <laughs> if we would have ended French. up over here, Lee, and then you know what I noticed? Greg and John was trying to actually say the French words for the yeah, they speak French. Maybe one of the items was like Chanel Rachel, and they're talking about Chanel, Chanel Rachel. Rachel. Bitch, <laughs> Chanel Rachel. If that was Lee back there, bilingual. If that was Lee back there, I would have been like, uh, Chanel, uh, Poise. Spe- spell it. Spell it. P O I S E. And then the last <laughs> word is D U T. Poise Dut. Like, bitch, I'm not going to do all of that. Poise Dut. Like, no. Look, they speak French, bitch. So they can do that. Guess, well, you got it like French. that. I mean, I guess. Okay. So, boom. Back at sword. Joel and Garrett pull up. Everybody just working on it. Oh, we forgot to put these bitches on. Y'all know who I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ah! Sure. I literally forgot, but y'all know who they are. We've been seeing yeah, them. Yeah. It's the top five. We, we can. We can. I just saw it. I was like, oh, They look cute there, though. Look at them. Ooh, it's a light top five. But, um. <laughs> What's that? What's what? Oh, this is if we presenting. <laughs> Not you trying to uh oh. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um Joel and Garrett pull up, so now everybody's working on the detour. Everybody's that sort. Oh, and we then... are kind of presenting though. Jo- we are kind of presenting, but like, are we? Okay. Sorry, stop playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm like, ah! Okay, so um <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Todd and Ashley aren't there there. They're just now getting to the subway. They choose that they're gonna do the sort detour. And we see basically everybody is finishing up the detours. So them choosing means nothing. At serve, Greg and John eat it up. They're they're they finishing. Serve. Up. They're, they're serving. And then at sort, everybody else is eating it up. We see Steven and Ali kind of start arguing because Anna mm-hmm. Lee's trying to hurry up so Joel and Garrett don't see what they're doing. And she's like, come on, you need to run. And he's like, I'm coming. He's like, but you need to run. And so they're getting a little heated antsy, but they're getting it done. And eventually, Corey and Rob and Steven and Ali just finish at the same time. They're going to follow each other to the um, Pama Marina to get their next clue. So they finish up right after we see that Greg and John finish up. They're going to the Pama's Marinas. And then right after we see Joel and Garrett are finishing up. And then Todd and Ashley finally make it to the detour while everyone else is headed to Pama's Marina. So good luck to them. At Pama's Marina, all it says is go to the pit stop. Literally. <laughs> so that's what they have to do. So the team start arriving and the team stop going and start going to the pit stop. But this is where it gets funny because they're struggling to find the subway that they have to take to get to the museum. So eventually, it's literally Stephen and Ali, Corey and Rob, and Greg and John running around near forest and shit, looking for different people to tell them where to go. They are struggling bad. So within this time, Joel and Garrett have been able to make it to the clue and then also find the subway while they're doing all of this digging, searching. It's three teams 
Looking and this is where it gets bad when you like try to work with somebody because y'all all kind of lost, which is a good thing. But it's like lost. at final five, it's like ooh, y'all because all lost. Because if Ashley was also able to like kind of catch up, it really mm-hmm. would have been bad for Stephen and Lee, which is what she was so scared about. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's why you can't. You can only work together sometimes because at this moment, it's especially you got to analyze if it's a foot race. And it's Steven and Elite, and then two male males, not even male males, two young, young teams, whatever these teams are. Greg and John and Robin Corey are going to outrun Steven and Elite because Steve has been not running. And Anna Lee been trying to make him, trying to get this man a whole floor. So that's basically what happens. Joel and Garrett end up finding the pit stop first. And when that happens, Todd and Ashley have now got to the stage, allegedly, allegedly. And allegedly, by the edit, Todd and Ashley are also looking for the subway. Yeah. We see. We see the other three teams get on the subway first, and then the other three teams have a foot race, um, basically, to the mat. So, Joel and Garrett get first, Greg and John get second, Corey and Rob get third, and Steven and Lee get fourth, and um, they're all four at the mat together. And um, Phil is like, this is our final four. Y'all are all here. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. And he said, like, this is the first time, like, it's been this close at the end, which is definitely true. Like by by it's this point, the damn challenges is, is weak. I will I will say that too. This was like, like remember how last season was? Like it got progressively harder. Yeah. This one, I feel like it has not got progressively that hard. This round, I feel like it could have been the first leg. Honestly, <laughs> it did feel like. Uh, that and like day. usually, when I'm watching a lot of other previous seasons. It it's it it, it goes back and forth. Sometimes there are really really harder tasks. Mm-hmm. Towards there, and then other times it is more like this, but I haven't seen it this close. Like, this top four is going to be really interesting because you got Joel and Garrett out here getting them a number one place, Greg and John, who's been getting uh several number ones, Robin Corey, mm-hmm. who's been top of the pack, and Steve and Ali, who all who really like they, number ones too. they the comeback kids, like they yeah. have been they, they were getting number ones, they fell out of it, now they're back in it. Mm-hmm. I think it's really anyone's game. It is. is. This because is honestly, so fun this was all, this was another like, like from watching previous seasons, like I know what a non elimination leg feels like. This felt like it would have been a non elimination leg. Mm-hmm. Like Todd and mm-hmm. Ashley leaving here, mm-mm. it would have gave non elimination down because usually what they what they like to do in the modern seasons is have four teams going into the final episode. They make the final episode two hours. They have four teams going in. One of the four teams get cut, and then they do the race between the three. Interesting. And they either have the non elimination before that or right or you know in that same area. So mm-hmm. around this area, they would have did another non elimination. It just felt like it would have been this leg for sure. Interesting. Wait, something's not right. There's 13 episodes this season. Yes. This is episode 10. What are we gonna do? What do you mean? If this is episode 10 and there's 13 episodes, next episode. One person goes home. Episode twelve should be the finale, but there's thirteen episodes. So, mm. so they, is, they, there, they, is they, it gonna be? Is, is Final Four gonna be a mega leg? Because have they ever done that? A mega leg this late? Or they'll just go into the final episode three? Because I don't remember what they did last season. They it would be three. That's the thing. If episode oh, eleven, it's not four. Oh, well, yeah. Thing, who, best thing is it? Who said it's gonna be thirteen episodes? Honestly, I got that from Coquette chat. From uh, um, that man. I thought he knew his. I know. I thought he maybe. knew what he was talking about. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he did. Let me see. Is, where, where can I find that information? Mm-hmm. I don't know. But I'll look at. I'll look at it after because I'm interested. Episode guide. Child. But no. Nah, um. Maybe it could be Mega Leg next episode. But also, just maybe not. And maybe it's just twelve episodes. And that's all a lot. But uh, boom. Either way, we'll be here. We'll be covering the last couple of episodes. Of Amazing Race. We're also still doing Survivor. We're going to be doing Reindeer Games coming up, unfortunately. And then also stay tuned. If you're a Big Brother fan, we will be doing BB Rewind soon. Make sure you follow us everywhere for details on that. And thank you for keeping it real with the kingdom. We out. Period.